For starters, um, progressive marches, as I like to do them, is just by shifting weight side to side, kind of bringing your heel off the ground just at the beginning to assess how you are feeling on your balance today and just warm yourself up, right? We don't want to go into the hardest drills when we first start out. So this is a way to see how steady you are on your feet, going nice and controlled side to side. We'll bump up the height just a little bit. So maybe you're taking your toe slightly off the ground. Maybe you're just taking a little bit more of your foot off the ground, either variation. It's still pretty similar to that first one. We're just kind of easing into more of a progression. Very nice. Let's go ahead and bring up a little bit more of our legs. So I'm thinking about bringing my foot up to about mid shin level uh, in this position. Again, actively trying not to hold on to anything. That's kind of the, the goal here. But of course, if you do need that assistance, no problem at all. Side to side. Good. All right, final progression. I like to call it bringing our thigh parallel to the ground, ideally before bringing it back down slowly, okay? So that's gonna be the toughest variation. If you can't get your leg up there, just go as high as you can try to hold it for a second and then come down, okay? So even if that's right here, bring it up, hold, come down. Whatever variation you are at, we're gonna hang tight here for about 20 more seconds. Be slow and controlled, slow and deliberate, nice and careful. Five more seconds, looking good. And relax, good. Take a big breath in, big breath out. So earlier we were doing uh, reverse marches. We're gonna do the same concept now, but standing. So it's gonna be a little bit tougher on your center of gravity because now we're actually adding balance plus hip mobility into it. So go side to side here, reaching up and over and then stepping up and back over, okay? Up and over up and back over. I'm alternating on both legs when I'm doing this. Again, trying to be about equal in whichever variation. Of course, the higher you have that hurdle and the further you step back, the tougher this is going to be for you. So make it at your own accord and relax. Good. We'll do one final marching variation in a second, but I know those can get your heart rate up. So Let's just do a little bit of stability work. We'll bring our feet together. We're gonna to have our hands near our chair in case we need to hold on to it. And then in this position, all I'm gonna have you do is lean towards one side, trying your best to keep both hands together. And then we're just gonna hang tight, okay? If you wanna make this a little more challenge, you can actually bring one hand up and over. Otherwise, keeping them together is totally okay. That just makes it a little more of a center of gravity push towards that side. And up, good. Repeat on the other side, same thing. Start with the lean. See how it is for you to start. And then if this is easy, you can add a little bit more of a lean. Hanging nice and tight. And good, very nice. We're gonna repeat one more time, but this time instead of adding a lean overhead, we're just gonna lean with our eyes closed, okay? So this one I would highly recommend having your hand very close to that chair, because this one can get a little dicey. Uh, so I would start with the lean first. Once you get nice and stable, then you can close your eyes, have your hand near that chair, and still just feel your body move and interact and kind of fight this position a little bit. That fight and that slight movements and adjustments you feel that's your body getting better on balance, okay? Hang tight, five more seconds. Very nice, you can open your eyes, lean towards that other direction, same thing. Give me a lean first, close those eyes, hang nice and tight. Good, five more seconds, looking good. Open those eyes, go ahead and relax. We're now going to finish our final uh, march variation, as I said we were doing earlier. This one's gonna be one of the tougher ones. It's going to involve a march where you 
reach your leg up as high as you can, and then lead into a reverse lunge, okay? So one leg is moving, one leg is staying stationary. It's just going up and back, okay? Going back is gonna be the tough part on your balance. Tougher part, I should say, they're both tough, but uh, so be careful, have your hand near that chair in case you need it. Up and back, good. Up and back, nice and controlled. Don't really overcomplicate this, just get a little bit of knee bend on that leg when you're coming back. Up, back, one more time here. Up and back, very nice. Let's take a big breath all together. I know that's a lot of uh, lunges on one concept. We're gonna switch legs, do the exact same thing on that other side. All right, ready, set, go. Let's do this, same thing, opposite direction. Leg up into that march, reverse lunge. Up, reverse lunge. And with that reverse lunge, just get a little bit of a knee bend as much as you can. If you can go down super far, that's great. Don't feel like you need to though. Go down as far as your body will give you today. Try to keep that chest up nice and high in either variation. We got 10 more seconds. Let's see if we can get two more of these guys. Good and relax, very nice. Take another breath. Excellent job, everyone. We're gonna move back into that position we were in. So how this one's gonna work is basically um, you're going to kind of mimic a march. So act like you're gonna do a march, come back into the reverse lunge, and then we're just gonna hold this position actively, okay? So kind of a split stance position, but your front knee is gonna be bent, maybe a little more than normal. So just try to get a little bit deeper into this position. And then we're just gonna try to hang tight without moving, okay? So your back heel, just so you know, should be off the ground. That'll make this a little bit tougher on your balance. And of course, we're working our good leg strength as well. Good, go ahead, grab that chair and boost yourself back up into position. Same thing, reach all the way back. Try to go as low as you comfortably can. And then we are hanging tight, hanging tight. Nice and easy. We got 10 more seconds. Be strong here. Feel the burn. The burn means we're getting stronger. The burn means we're getting better. Good, go ahead, grab that chair. Recess all the way back up. Excellent job. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of ankle work next. So this one you can uh, stand behind your chair, stand wherever is comfortable for you. Again, feel free to use it. You don't need to though. Feet are gonna to be together for this one. We are going to do calf raises. So having those feet together, make it slightly more unstable on your base. Coming up, slowly down. Up, slowly down. Nice and controlled here, coming all the way up and down, up and down. This last one, we're gonna hold the position, come up on your tiptoes, see if you can try your best to not use anything, but of course, have it near there to catch. Five more seconds, three, two and one, very nice, excellent job, way to push yourself. We're gonna do the reverse movement now, so this one's gonna be toe raises. This one is a little more challenging on your balance, so be very careful, and I would maybe do just a couple holding on first, just to see how it is for you. And then once you get the hang of it, you can kind of bring those toes up and back, up and back. I should mention too, having your feet together will make this uh, the most challenging as well, at least in this variation. Up, down, up, down. We're gonna do one more hold, just like we did with the last time. So this time, come back on those heels. This is gonna be probably one of the more challenging ones of the day. See if you can not move a muscle. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> It ain't easy. All right, go ahead, rest. Very, very nice. Okay, um, what we're gonna do now, still with those feet together, is a crossover tap. So this is gonna involve taking one leg, it doesn't matter which one, we'll use both of them.
taking one leg, we're going to cross over, tap, and then we're going to bring the leg behind and tap behind, okay? So we're basically going forward and backward. You can kind of go at a conservative pace at first, uh, nice and fluid, I should say. And then we'll do this for speed in just a second. But for now, just kind of get the hang of it forward and backward. Good. All right, 10 seconds now, as quickly as you can. Tap forward and backward, front and back. Good, and relax. Very nice, very nice. Take a breath. Once you've exhaled, rinse and repeat on the other side. About 15 seconds of kind of that conservative pace to see how we are on our feet, see how steady we are, back and fourth. All right, 10 fast seconds now, back and forth, over and behind that foot, as fast as you can. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Go ahead and relax on that position. We're just going to do one more drill for today. This is going to be uh, what I call balance catches. So, uh, we'll start on our right leg. So your right leg is going to be the moving leg. And how this one works is you lean forward and then right before you feel like you might fall or tip over, you're going to take your right foot in this position and jut it out and try to catch yourself, okay? So it's a very controlled way to kind of practice um, falling and hopefully moving our body to catch ourselves from a fall. So just a light lean, doesn't have to be a lot. Just some slight uncomfortableness, I should say. And then we're trying to move quick. So you shouldn't feel like you're moving in slow motion or your normal speed. It should feel like you need to move that leg quickly. Otherwise, you're going to fall, right? Two more times. Go ahead and give me two more repetitions on the side. Very nice. Let's rinse and repeat. I think I counted about roughly 10 for myself, so we'll try to match that. Get about 8 to 10 on that other leg. Lean forward, big lean forward with a catch. Lean with a catch. Doesn't have to be super drastic. Again, this is all your own level. Just try to get a little bit out of your comfort zone. That's kind of the idea here. Lean, catch. Lean, catch. Good. Give me one more good repetition here. Good. And relax. Very nice. We'll move into a little bit of cool down. So go ahead and step behind your chair. We're going to move into a split stance. And then all you're going to do is lean towards one direction. You're going to bend that knee a tiny bit. And then that opposite leg is just going to be straight, okay? So we're just getting a nice, gentle stretch on our inner thigh of that straight leg. Doesn't take a lot to get there. We're going to hang tight for one good breath. Exhale. Go ahead and come out of that. We'll lean into that other side. Same thing. Knee's going to be pushed to the side, keeping that leg nice and straight. Taking a big breath in. Big breath out. Go ahead and come out of that side. Stay in the splits position. We're going to then push our butt back. We are going to push our head through this little hole our hands create on that chair. Get a good stretch on our hamstrings and lower back. Take that big breath in. Take that big breath out. Go ahead and gently come up nice and tall out of that position. We're going to reach all the way up to the sky now, stretching our body. I'm going to put my hands together, actually, and we'll kind of use those to leverage each other and get as high as we can. Feel our entire body stretch out as we take a big breath in. Big breath out. Relax those hands. Very nice. We're going to move back into our split stance position we were in earlier, but this doesn't have to be as drastic. Um, just a tiny bit of a split. The difference between this one, though, your back heel is going to be actually planted into the ground, okay? And then you're going to push your front knee forward a little bit. 
And when you do this, you should get a gentle pull on the back of your calf. We're going to take a good breath in, good breath out. Come out of that stretch. We'll repeat on the other side. Big step forward, back calf is planted in the ground. We're going to gently push that knee forward. Take that big breath in. Take that big breath out. We'll come out of that direction. Go ahead and place your hands behind your back like so. We're going to then pinch our shoulder blades. Think about opening our chest up as much as we can. If you're able to, try to look up just a little bit. And we're thinking about opening up our entire chest, our entire body, as we take a big breath in, big breath out, relax on that position, and then we'll finish, nice gentle hamstring stretch, keep those legs nice and straight, reach down as low as your body will let you go. Don't really focus on actively touching your toes. Just get that nice stretch on the back of your thighs. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Gently stand up nice and tall. Take a breath as you get to the top. Make sure that blood gets back to your head before moving around. We're all finished. Thank you so much for coming and have an awesome rest of your day.